Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Uh... Now, I know what probably many of you are thinking out there. What's she doing? Why she got that box? And uh, why haven't you canceled this box just yet? And there's a couple reasons for that. One is just an incredibly unrelenting, horrific memory of things that I should do, as in like canceling boxes and that kind of stuff. Two is because, like some people out there, I too have guilty pleasures. Some people, they like to eat an entire box of Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies when the serving size is like or watch hours of reality TV shows on Netflix. Both of those people are me. I have done both of those things today. But another guilty pleasure of mine just so happens to be the Trisha Paytas glitter, uh, can't say it or else I get demonetized box. It's like something I know I shouldn't do and yet here I am. There's just something about it which is just so entertaining for me to actually unbox and go through. Like, it's just the most unusual subscription box ever. I don't really understand it. I don't really get, like, the reasoning behind a lot of the items in it, but for some reason I can't stop unboxing it. As always, this is just a review on the box itself, not Trisha as a person. Like I said, I don't really keep up with her that much, but, like, recently uh, I can't help but see her because people keep sending me, like, videos of her redoing My Chemical Romance stuff. And if you don't know, I have a deep, undying, unrelenting love for My Chemical Romance. So that's something. Anyway, we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna unbox this box today. I most likely will eventually cancel this. Again, it's, this is no hate towards anybody. It's just, it's a, it's a fun box to unbox. It's just different. Okay, so we have the box. Let's just go ahead and get into it. This is a bi-monthly subscription, so it comes like every other month. It's also $60, which is like one of the most expensive subscriptions I have. <laughs> Inside here, we have a picture of Miss Trisha wearing a lovely icy blue wig. There's a little card in here, which is gonna tell us the retail value of all of the items. Oh, okay, interesting. Right off the bat, I'm seeing some different stuff. Uh, yeah, this is also just like a little bit old. Uh, it's been sitting in my living room for quite some time. So this holiday sleigh moisturizing glitter body gel um, might be a little bit out of season. I really did think that this box was from January, um, not December, but here we are. So this little body wash here is shaped like an ornament. It is incredibly gold and glittery. It supposedly smells like warm sugar cookies. I don't know if that's what I would call that scent, but again, it has been sitting in my living room since apparently December, so. I have to say right off the bat, this is looking a little bit like, you know, like, Maybe like a Target holiday cheap gift section. Does that sound bad? You know, something that you buy for like a little stocking stuffer for your fourth niece. Or like if you have to put together a, a gift basket for like a Santa swap at work for people you don't really like all that much. It's nothing terrible, it is just a body wash, but maybe you'd think you would see something a little bit maybe more high-end in a $60 box. Okay, so the next item we have here, it looks like something you could find um, right next to this in the holiday gift section at the Target. This is just a plain little notebook. There's absolutely no branding on it whatsoever, and if you are buying this box because you really like Trisha and you want that branding, you want people to know like, oh that came from Trisha's box, um, this is just a pink notebook. There's absolutely nothing else about it. I feel like you could pick this up anywhere for a couple bucks. So for me this isn't really something that you would see in like a curated box like this. Um, it's also kind of like dented up and scratched up so that's a unique choice. Oh, okay, so maybe they're trying to redeem it here a little bit because you do get a pen, so like these two things could be used together. Um, I don't think they came together though because they are entirely different colors, but you could use this in this book. There's also a little like stylus uh, thing here at the end and the inside's filled with little glittery hunks. And this is also a branded product. Now, I have to say like branded products don't necessarily mean they're quality products. Like you can probably buy these pins on like Alibaba or something like that and get like branding put on them for super super cheap. Let's give it a little test to see if it writes well. Okay, it does write. That's good. A pin should have that function. I drew a very um, disappointing little heart here up in the corner. So again, if you know your, your niece needs a little gift, there is that. Again, maybe not... Okay, the next thing we have here is from Annecy. This is an Iceria Serium. 
I'm sorry, it's getting really late. It's like midnight. Not that that's any excuse because I can't speak, you know, just like normally during the day, but um, you know, this is an anti-puffiness formula. It's supposed to help calm and depuff the eye area. It does say that this is made in the USA, which is good in Los Angeles. Boy, um, at least it's not a perfume. It, that's a very uh, disturbing scent. What does that smell like? Oh, okay, yeah, that smells real off. Um, anyway, this is like a very, very watery gel. It's honestly like separating on my skin. I'm not sure, maybe I have like something on the back of that hand. My problem is I feel like it's almost not sinking into the skin. It's more like moving around on top of it and separating. Um, I definitely, if you're gonna use this, I would put this on before you put on any other type of product because like it's really not wanting to sink into the skin. I do have some other swatches on the back here, so I'm thinking that might be one of the reasons why, but even on this side over here, it just, it's taking it a while to actually get in there. God, that is a very disturbing scent. It smells very, um, what's a good way to put this? It smells very pukey. Like kind of that, um, pukey. I really don't want to be just like mean to this box for no reason, but I do want to give you guys like my honest opinion. And I really do like that this is like made in the USA. It's supposedly cruelty free. That's all great and stuff. I just have a little bit of problem with the actual scent. It's very strong and very off-putting. So I just want to be like 100% totally honest with everything I'm going through here. I did pay $60 for this. So I want to give like my honest opinion on everything. Okay, the next thing we have here is a little set of brushes. They are... Oh, they are pretty cute brushes. They have like little gems and stuff in the handles. They feel pretty soft to the touch. They come in kind of like a little confetti like clear plastic bag. I would say that these are brushes that you could probably find again on like Alibaba or something like that. They don't feel like super personalized or anything. There is no branding on these. But they are pretty soft. They um, are incredibly lightweight. The plastic feels pretty lightweight as well. So it's nice that you get a full set and like the handles are kind of fun to like, you know, Morocco with. Again, if you're gonna buy this box because like you really support Trish or you really like her, like I feel like you're gonna want your things to be branded in support of her. That's kind of why I wish like the box was called like the Trish box or something like that because I feel like her fans want something that is very Trish if they really want to support her. I mean, these definitely do feel in line with her brand, like the sparkles and the pink and the purple, that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like they have pushed it a little bit further and made this like a truly customized like experience for people who are Trisha fans. Also, the plastic bag does feel pretty chintzy. Like you could use this as a reusable like makeup bag or something like that, but I really don't think it's gonna hold together very well. Fortunately, it looks like they included something else for you to put your brushes in. Yep, this is just a little brush container. I mean, these are nice to have, especially on the go, like if you wanna make sure your brushes don't get smooshed around in like your makeup bag or something. But uh, again, it is a brandless item inside of here. And I think just because it's pink doesn't really necessarily mean that it's customized to the box. So I just really wish they had like pushed the envelope a little bit more with the customization, making people feel like they were getting like a personalized Trisha experience. So yeah, that's all it is. It's just a little brush container. There are two snaps on the side and then it just, and then the very last item in here is something that is heavily branded. So we're getting what we're asking for here. I'm not sure what I'm looking at actually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So what I'm looking at and actually wearing now is a um, infinity scarf with just glitter um, hidden written entirely all over it, which I was saying that we needed more customization and, and here we have it <laughs> labeled all over your neck. Items like this, I definitely think it would take a very specific person to be able to like pull this off confidently in public and like make a cool outfit of it and like make a statement. And that's awesome if that's something that you could do. Me personally, this might not be my go-to scarf when I need to go out in public. But uh, again, it, you know, there's all sorts of different people that have all sorts of different fashion aesthetics and this could very well match a lot of people's fashion aesthetic. However, I just I have so many thoughts about this box and maybe that's another reason that I like keep wanting to unbox it is just because I just have so many thoughts about it 
I really don't get the audience that she's targeting because like her core audience I feel isn't this young. This feels like a super 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 young audience but the kind of stuff she puts out there I really don't know if this is who it's for. Like kind of the younger like almost middle school age is like what a lot of this stuff feels targeted towards and I just really don't know if that's like her main audience. I also feel like if she wanted to include a lot more of her fans and grab their attention then maybe doing something that's more tricky targeted instead of glitter puppy targeted would be super super helpful for her actually selling boxes. Like imagine instead it had like Trisha's sayings or something like that. Like crying on the kitchen floor is one of her big things. Like this could say like crying on the kitchen floor all around it instead of glitter or whatever. And that way like Trisha fans could like see that and like know that that person is also a Trisha fan. Or like this could have like a cute little message on it or saying like from Trish. I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot more creative and personal way that this box could be put together to make her fans feel like they're getting a curated Trisha experience <laughs> instead of just like picking random pink things from Alibaba and throwing them inside of a box and then occasionally putting the logo on it. I could see even like her first box like you get like a lanyard and then like at Disney World you get like a Trisha pin <laughs> every single month with a different iconic Trisha look or face. That would be something that would like encourage her fans to like keep coming back keep subscribing to the box because every month they get like a custom limited edition pin. I don't know. I personally feel like this is just a box that not a lot of thought goes into, which makes me sad for like her fans who really do want to support her, but they're getting kind of ripped off with this like chintzy stuff that keeps coming in the box, but like they don't want to stop subscribing because like they're supporting one of their favorite creators. So that's difficult. I just really wish that there was more thought, more effort, more energy, also more value put into these boxes. Sorry this just became like a rant video. I really wasn't expecting that. I wanted it to be a little bit more fun and lighthearted, but let me give you guys like the prices of everything in here. So they say the Annecy Eye Serum is $79. Then there is the Sunshine and Glitter Slave Holiday Body Glitter. Oh, oh. Okay, so the Sunshine and Glitter Holiday Slay Body Glitter, it's a body glitter. On here it says body gel, which I just assumed meant that it was like a shower gel. But nah, -uh. you can look like one of the little golden men from Ringling Brothers. Oh boy, all right, well, we, we have to try this. Of course we have to try this. It's also $18, so let's see how this goes. It smells like a hotel pool. Let's go ahead and put it on this arm. <laughs> And then we'll see the difference. It did say apply liberally, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, oh, okay, so as I'm rubbing it in, I'm actually getting a little bit more of the sugar cookie scent. I think I was just overwhelmed with a bit of like alcohol scent at first. And also as I'm rubbing it in, it's looking a lot less yellow. At first I was like, that's an interesting color, but it is blending out to where basically now I'm just shiny. Hopefully it will dry down a bit more. It is a bit sticky right now, but this is not like a super unusual product. There are a lot of body glitters out there. So yeah, if you like to have some like glitter on your body, there's a, uh, there's, you can use this. Okay, the pink glitter rainbow uh, scarf here is $10. The makeup brush set is $12. The pink brush container is $10. The pin is three and then the notebook is five. And a lot of these I don't think are like super overwhelmingly like price inflated. Um, I still feel like you can get most of this stuff probably like on Alibaba or like, you know, this pretty much anywhere. But I'm glad they're not trying to like say that this is like a 20 or $30 brush container and these brushes are actually worth like $60 or something. I feel like the prices are inflated a little bit maybe, but like not crazy. This is actually really hot. I got it a lot. And then it looks like they're just relying on like one product to like really shock you with the value. So let me do some addition really fast. Okay, so the supposed total retail value of this box is $125.90. Um, I still feel like paying $60 for a box and only getting $125 in return isn't fantastic. I expect to see a much larger return on investment when you get a subscription box like this. There are boxes out there for like $40, $50 that you're seeing like $200, $300 worth of really good products in. And this one you're seeing like a little bit over $100 of like kind of subpar products in, which like isn't really great. And like, I don't know, it just, it does frustrate me for people who get this box on purpose to support Trish. They're just not getting great things in return. And I really wish she cared more about like her subscribers and her fans to give them like a really good product. I mean, I know like the profit margin wouldn't be nearly as good as if she started putting like nice quality things inside the boxes, but like you gotta take into account like actually giving your fans, the people who support you something that's 
good. And not just trying to like get as much money as possible out of each individual box. I just want to like drive home that I don't think this is a good investment or a place to put your money. Even if you're wanting to support a creator, you don't have to buy everything they put out if it's not a good product. But again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm sorry this turned into like kind of a ranty video. I definitely expected it to be more like lighthearted and joking. So I'm really, really sorry about that. But just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!